Good morning. It's nice to uh, see you all here in Krakow. I came to you from Katowice because I work for uh, Special Economic Zone in Katowice and we, uh, from six years, are also thinking about competences, competences of young people, pupils, students, and also adults who uh, want to develop their abilities, skills, and knowledge. Of course, uh, we are providing also uh, a cluster, cluster which is called Silesia Automotive and Advanced Manufacturing, and that cluster is working for automotive industry, automotive sector, uh, which is now also very changing. That's why I think I can uh, share with you with some uh, information, especially connected with the needs and role of education for industry for uh, So the first question, uh, what competences are most important for employers exactly in the automotive, so very technician sector? Uh, I'm curious if you, uh, if you know, because we uh, have provided a lot of seminars, conferences, workshops where uh, people from human resources departments told us what, what kind of these competences are so um, important. So, the first place, despite its automotive, technician and very industrial sector, the first place are social competences. So, so uh, it's very interesting that the human factor uh, is the most important and people who work um, in human uh, resources departments say uh, when they are recruiting new people, recruiting graduates uh, and also uh, according to people who work and need uh, some reskilling or upskilling they really need to develop social soft competences. Actually, like in Polish, uh, these are soft competences. So the most important is communication, uh, the ability to solve problems, uh, creativity also. Uh, it, it is very important to develop uh, skills, analytical skills. Yes, this is connected with uh, problem solving and uh, what is very important also multitasking. So even if you uh, finish um, uh, some specialization, actually you need to be very open, open-minded for different branches and different uh, challenges. But okay, not only social competences, uh, second uh, group, uh, these are skills connected with uh, robotics. Uh, in automotive and electromobility, uh, we really have now a lot of uh, robots which are uh, piloted and uh, they cannot work without people. They cannot uh, work without uh, IT specialists and uh, people who uh, also uh, have the technician knowledge. So, uh, employers say that for safety, safety of using these machines, uh, very autonomic machines in, in uh, companies, we need to uh, have abilities connected with safety, communication, communication not only with people but also with uh, machines, IT competences and programming. Uh, this programming, um, it doesn't have to be done uh, nearby the robot, nearby uh, the machine, but also from home, online, but it is uh, very important to uh, communicate with, with that robot. The third group, uh, which, is, uh, which uh, employers say is also very important, is ecology, skills connected with ecology. Ecology is now uh, very modern, uh, especially uh, when we say about young people, uh, very young people, uh, and it is very good. It is very good for automotive and for electromobility because uh, it is must have in uh, automotive industry. Here you can see the process, the process of uh, 
existing the car, just the car. First you have to design the car, then you have companies which are uh, connected with the production of cars, but that's not the end. Then uh, we need companies uh, which sell cars. Mm, when you have car, you need to repair it, so vehicle operation is the next step. Uh, and that's also not the end. Then we have renovation and recycling. These two processes are very uh, close to ecology and ecological ideas, but uh, just uh, look what is happening also in the uh, step connected with designing and production. Uh, we've got uh, a lot of uh, cars which uh, need electricity, so not, not fuel, but electricity, maybe hydrogen. And so these are very uh, ecological aspects connected with automotive industry and um, companies uh, expect that people who work there have the knowledge, abilities and skills connected with ecologic. Uh, and uh, also the trend connected with autonomy, uh, cars which uh, are autonomy and may drive without a driver, uh, that's also the trend which, which uh, provides and needs more competences. Competences, uh, as I told you earlier, uh, which are new, new in the automotive industry. And the last group, uh, which is also must have for people who work in automotive sector, are digital competences. Uh, we have a lot of channels, uh, IT channels that we communicate uh, and a lot of uh, new uh, applications and programs that is also happening in the industry connected with automotive sector and electromobility. Uh, and um, we really need to provide such competences. Uh, as a uh, special zone economic, special zone in Katowice, uh, we have made also uh, the research. Uh, we have a report which you can see on the website. Uh, this was uh, the research of Polish technical secondary schools. It was made last year, so these are very uh, modern results. Uh, we have talked to 120 teachers uh, of vocational subjects in the automotive sector. Uh, we mean secondary schools, so schools uh, where pupils are from uh, 14 till uh, 18, 19 years old. And the teachers say, they as teachers at schools need more information about trends when they shall tell uh, young people about trends in automotive sector and change, changes which are happening in the companies, they need to know it. Uh, we very often observe such uh, situations when, um, for example, a uh, young uh, boy, uh, one young teenager is learning as an electrician, for example, electrician, and he doesn't know actually where could he work. Uh, maybe only the nearest uh, uh, garage or uh, repair workshop. Uh, he even can't imagine he could work in huge company, uh, in huge electromobility international company. Uh, really, in our Polish schools, uh, young people uh, don't have the touch and the contact with that what is happening really in in companies. Uh, how can they choose uh, higher education and uh, uh, the studies if, if they don't know and have an imagination? What could they do? And also teachers in Polish schools uh, say that um, they don't feel uh, easy when they shall train social competences. So, uh, people who work in human resources departments say they really need uh, these soft skills and then we hear from teachers, they, they have problems, they cannot uh, provide these social competences. Uh, so, uh, we should work on this, uh, how uh, to learn young people project thinking, teamwork, creativity, etc. We really need it this in business, also in very hard uh, 
uh, industry. Uh, teachers say they would like to observe new job positions according to the trends, change of part machines. So uh, we should uh, cooperate together to exchange these information, I, I think. So um, they really need to visit global producers, global companies, not only small uh, repair uh, garages. And this is what is happening now. So we really count on, on the change. If you want to see more about this, uh, report uh, you can also visit uh, our website and see more information uh, what uh, i would like also to tell you about uh, trends in automotive uh, sector and uh, trends connected with cars what is changing uh, now for people who want to work for automotive industry the product so the car is now changing in the service. It is very important uh, information, I think, because uh, in Silesian Voivodship, uh, Stellantis, the company which is now, uh, now uh, you know, joining uh, earlier Opel, Fiat, now it is called uh, Global, Global Stellantis, um, they are uh, preparing to provide services, not only to design and product new cars, new vehicles, but to uh, provide and then sell services. I mean services like uh, entertainment in the car, like uh, the possibility of communication in the car, uh, just like we uh, now can pay monthly, for example, for some movies in the, in the TV or for some uh, music, we also uh, in the future could buy this uh, from the uh, automotive productions. So it's very, very important that uh, the automotive is changing. Uh, Stellantis now is looking for almost uh, 300 new workers who uh, have especially programming, IT specialization, programming skills, and could uh, um, deliver such services which will be very, uh, very advanced. So, uh, actually, I may say the car will change into iPhone on, on the vehicles, yes? So that's, that's the, the trend. Uh, and um, if we say about schools, secondary schools, also primary schools, uh, we should uh, know that it is very important uh, for companies, for business, for uh, higher education uh, to uh, provide, uh, I mean, advisory, some advisory in career to encourage um, young people to look for automotive industry, to look for uh, industry 4.0, to look for technician skills, uh, because uh, as you see, it is also connected with soft competences, but uh, we see that companies need more and more uh, people who have these uh, technician skills. So we could encourage, we could show uh, possibilities, we could talk about trends in the automotive industry, in the automotive uh, industry 4.0, and advise how could they prepare to, uh, to get such job positions. Uh, it is also a very important number, 48% uh, teachers in Poland would like to improve the vocational advisory system. So, uh, if we say about quality, about industry 4.0, we also should think about uh, competences, competences in secondary schools, uh, primary schools, higher education, and also when we work, because Stellantis uh, say um, they don't uh, have to uh, recruit only young people, only graduates. If somebody is uh, after his 30s or 40s and want to learn uh, programming and IT competences, he still uh, can have chances to work 
for Stellantis. So this really has to be changed. If you would like to get some more information about our project, uh, which we do uh, in Poland and about our cluster, Silesia Automotive and Advanced Manufacturing, you have here uh, some contact information um, to me and I can tell you more about, uh, about the competences. But uh, what is the most important, I think uh, we should join. Uh, technical skills with soft competences and then uh, even if companies and the world is